Good morning, everyone. How are you? Welcome back to another video with Brooklyn Babe 66. I'm going to jump right into the video. I hope you enjoyed the one on yesterday. I was talking about how husbands should treat their wives so their prayers won't be hindered. So, see, that's why Stacy will never have a husband. That's why Stacy will never have a husband because she's always trying to take over and steal the show. <laughs> I told her to stay out of this bathroom. This is the best place in the house with lighting. And I told her to stay out and she has to come in. She'll never get married. She'll always be an old maid, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I talked about on yesterday, I talked about how men should treat their wives in order to, you know, be successful in life. A lot of men are successful out there. You know, they may be single and they're successful, but maybe they don't have a wife, you know, because this is pertaining to how men should treat their wives, okay? And a lot of times you see successful married men, you know, but we don't know for the most part, what their wives' role is in them being successful, you know, because most of the time you've heard that saying, behind every successful man stands a woman, you know, and it, it's true. His mother, his sister, his, his, his wife, his girlfriend, a lot of times you see a woman standing behind him whispering in his ear and he's listening. So he's gaining, okay? So I want to start off with this this morning. Yesterday, I read from 1 Peter 3 and 7, and it was, Thou shalt not take thy wife for granted, but will honor and respect her as thy equal. Okay? A lot of times, men and women feel like they are not equal to men. You should respect each other. Respect your husband and husband respect your wife, but you have to remember that we are equal. Okay? You are head of the house. You're not head of the woman to where you are beating her down to the ground and disrespecting her and dishonoring her. You have to honor her and treat her as your equal. You know, just like you go out here and you treat your co-workers as your equal and you respect them, you laugh with them, you get along with them. It's how you should get along with your wife, with your spouse. So I want to talk about 1 Peter 3 and 7 for a minute. And I got this online and somebody was writing this and it says, husband, are you treating your wife as an equal and granting her your highest honor? If not, God says he will not answer your prayers. Now I'm talking to Christian people and non-believers who believe in Jesus Christ answering prayers. Okay. We're going to put it like that because I'm not here. I don't know what somebody's stance is. Selfishness is a marriage killer. For many men, they think they are better than their wife simply because they are men. These men have made serious judgment error. Husbands, tell your wife how important and valuable she is to you. Watch for the loving smile on her face when you do. The Proverbs writer said, an excellent wife who can find for her worth is far above, far above jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her. And he will have no lack. Okay? That's Proverbs 31, 10, and 11. Okay? An excellent wife who can find, for her worth is far above jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. Proverbs 31, 10, and 11. Notice how the husband, the wise husband, trusts his wife. The wise husband trusts his wife's judgment. And realizes how fortunate he is to have her. A lot of times men don't want to take their wife's judgment. They think they know everything. And when they lay their hands on something, it fails. They think they have the modest touch. And they don't. They don't have the modest touch. Because um, you, have to, you need to listen to your wife. Your wife, your marriage hangs on your wife's judgment as well. Even if y'all discuss it and you may agree and she may not agree, whatever the topic is, you don't need to do anything. Don't go do something if, if your wife don't agree and your wife shouldn't go do anything. If you don't agree, it just need to come to a halt, you know, but you need to treat your wife. This is for husbands right now as an equal.
equal, a co-heir. No one is above the other. Everyone in God's eyesight is the same. Okay? So in Genesis 5 and 2, it says, He created them male and female and blessed them. And he named them mankind when they were created. He created us women, but he named all of us mankind. Okay, he named all of us mankind when he created us. So there is no difference as far as God is concerned between men and women because we was all named mankind. I know in the Bible it says and he pulled me out of my husband's rib or out of Adam's rib, Eve out of Adam's rib and called her. And Adam, Adam called her woman. He was the one that named Eve, woman, and I shall call her woman. She shall be called woman. But when God created us, home skillet, it just came to me. He called all of us mankind. So as far as he concerned, I'm mankind. If you a brother, you mankind. We the same as far as he concerned. Adam called us woman. God called us mankind. So when he refers to men in the Bible, he's talking about female and male. God is okay galatians 3 28 29 there is neither jew nor gentile neither slave nor free nor is there male and female for you are all one in christ jesus if you belong to christ then you are abraham's seed and heir according to the promise that's galatians 3 28 29 so there is neither gentile or jew we all the same we are all to be treated the same. Nobody's better, no slave, and there's no free. As far as Jesus is concerned, he don't look at you as a slave and me as free. We are all the same. You know, Donald Trump is separating everybody. Oh, you not American, you Mexican, you black, you white, you African, you this. God says we are all the same. Trump's opinion don't matter where God is concerned. He may be ruling down here, but his rule is going to come to an end. There's one, there's somebody higher than him. And he says it doesn't matter. Okay? We are all the same. So that's Galatians 3.28. Ephesians 5.29.33. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their bodies, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. Do not mistreat your wife. Treat her as you would treat yourself. You don't hate yourself. You don't starve yourself. You buy yourself things. You take care of yourself. Some wives are stay-at-home wives. They don't have extra money. Some men won't even sell as much, give their wives money to go buy a dress. They at home taking care of all these children. They look in a raggedy hot mess. Their husband sharp as a tack. You want to give your wife money to get her nails done, her feet done. You don't want to pay the rent. Don't want to pay the light bill. My ex-husband, he didn't want to pay the light bill. He would walk through the house in the dark. Because he didn't want to pay a light bill. He said God told him not to pay the mortgage. Now, God do tell you things, but one thing God forgot to tell him was that he was going to be divorced. <laughs> he didn't tell him that part. He left that out. That was an important piece of information, don't you think? God told me don't pay the mortgage because of your attitude. Remember on yesterday, I said God does not hold the husband responsible for the wife's attitude. He said don't pay the mortgage because you had a stank attitude. Well, he wasn't doing anything that he's supposed to do according to the word. He said he was Christian. He was saved as far as he was concerned. But the Lord didn't tell him that he was going to be getting a divorce notice. He didn't tell him that part. He left that out. So Ephesians 5, 29, 33. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband. 
The wife will respect you if you love her like you love yourself, like God loves the church. God is the husband of the church. He does not mistreat the church. He cares for the church. He provides their needs. The church is you. I'm not talking about a building. I'm not talking about a building. I'm talking about your you. Okay? He gives strict orders on how a man should treat his wife. Okay? No hitting, no punching, no berating, no little belittling, no kicking, spitting in your face, keeping your money to yourself, having girlfriends to the side and bringing babies in the house. I had to make a fan because my stalker, remember, he caused me to break mine. So you have to treat your wife like you want to be treated. If you are feeding yourself, your wife should eat. My ex-husband would go out. He would feed himself. And we had two dogs at the time. He would come home and bring the dogs dog food. Okay? He made sure the dogs had dog food. He would bring food for himself. But if I was handicapped and didn't have no way out the house and couldn't read and write and had some kind of problems going on, I would have starved if I didn't know how to take care of myself. So with that being said, I'm going to...